morning my name is Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel and today it's just a quick video really just to show you how I'm going to be working um, all of my frames this year in fact I'm standardizing um, ev everything uh, related to um, supporting plants and protecting plants and I'm standardizing it on these metal pins and I'll show you how I'm going to do it so these are the pins they are about trying to think how much they are I think 29 pounds for 20 uh, off Amazon you probably get them cheaper and they're pretty long so they're 1.25 meters long which means you can get um, a decent uh, amount of them sunk into the earth uh, and still have them pretty long um, and they've got these great little hoops on them and you can place a cane in them and very easily with a little cable tie um, you can fasten the cane into the little crook there and then you can pop one of these little eye protectors on top of there I can't really do it very well, well one-handed um, and then obviously the netting sits on top of that so it's really good for the netting um, to protect it um, I can also, as I say, use these for crop supports, all sorts of things. So basically, I'm standardising on these because the canes keep rotting and breaking and these are much stronger and these little hook crooks in here uh, really help with uh, supporting canes and things. So I will show you how I get on with the job. OK, well, that's the frame done. Took half an hour to build it and I'm pretty pleased with it. It's really nice and rigid. Um, and I get to use up a lot of old canes, canes that are no use really um, for uh, bean frames, you know, because they're split in uh, or rotten at the bottom or whatever. Um, so let's just quick let's take a quick look at how it's all put together. So as you can see, the canes just kind of overlap. Um, put these little caps on here to protect. Uh, the netting could do with some extra caps just to put on these end pieces as well which i've ordered those um, but it's really simple to do and a few of the things i really like about it it's very easy to size it to you know whatever dimensions you want um, you can use any kind of length of canes pretty much because you can just overlap them like i've done here um, even horizontally, you know, you can span, you know, do any span you want really, uh, using either long ca canes or two overlapping short canes, like I've done down here, where I've done overlapping canes. Um, yeah, and I've ordered some netting to go over it, and I actually ordered enough to go over those broad beans as well, but I'm not obviously going to net those because it would be too much hassle to. Uh, to do the picking um, but eventually once those blood beans are out then uh, you know, I'll be able to just extend it and add another section to protect the brassicas that will go in in their place so yeah I'm really really pleased about it because next year the brassica bed is going to be this bed and this is slightly narrower bed so it will easily adapt to that uh, and it's longer so it led up to that as well. Anyway, I'm going to put the net on. So there we go. That's the job all done. And I'm really pleased with the way it's gone. It's taken me an hour to do the whole thing. Assembling, fitting all the canes and the netting. And obviously I haven't quite finished it really because I've not edged it properly or anything like that. But uh, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, it's worked really well really cheap, really flexible um, and a pretty good finish. I looked at lots of options before I did this, all sorts of different hoops, square hoops, uh, custom brassica frames and all of that sort of thing and this was a third to a quarter of the price probably of doing that and much more flexible. Um, so I'll talk just a little bit about a few of the design choices. Um, 
so as I mentioned before, I decided I decided to use canes um, for all the upper part of the frame. I think that's a fantastic use of them. They're really cheap. Got loads of them, um, and you know, by overlapping them means that uh, you can kind of accommodate any length or size you want. So that's worked really well. They just need end caps on them. Uh, still, didn't, the end caps haven't arrived yet. I bought them off Amazon and. Uh, Sometimes, you know, they come from China and things like that. They take uh, a few weeks to arrive. But I wanted to get it on anyway, and it's uh, no hassle to uh, refit them. I chose Butterfly Net, and you can see the grade of this. I think it's about 7 millimeters or something like that. Um, and I chose that because, really, it's birds and butterflies that are the biggest issue for young brassicas. Um, but I also didn't choose insect netting for a few other reasons. So the first one is couldn't find any um, Enviro mesh that was four meters wide, which is what I needed for this. Second reason was Enviro mesh is really, really expensive. The third reason is that a lot of what I'm growing in here are collets, and they seem to throw off whitefly, uh, which is the biggest insect threat. Um, and the fourth reason is that the, these plants are going to outgrow the, uh, this frame um, probably by August time, maybe even late July. As you can see, there's some example collects there. Um, and they, do, they grow really big. Uh, and obviously, the bigger they grow, the better, because uh, you get uh, collects all the way along the stem. Uh, and the same with sprouts. So it's, basically, it's going to go out, they're going to outgrow the frame. Um, so they are going to, you know, all I need is healthy plants really uh, by July uh, and that's my objective. Now, also I chose these pins because they're just so flexible. So not only are they flexible in terms of, you know, how you position them and the size of the frame you can build and all that sort of thing, um, but they're also flexible in terms of their uses. So when this frame gets disassembled, late July, August time, um, I'm going to use the same pins to support the plants. Uh, so I'm going to sink them a little bit deeper and then I'm going to support the stem um, at maybe 60, 70 centimetres up, which is kind of the support points that I've used with these stakes. So about 60 centimetres out of the ground. Um, I think they'll be much better than stakes because they won't damage the uh, stems, obviously they won't rot, um, and they're easy to push into the ground and all that sort of thing. I also use these pins at the corners of all of the um, raised bed frames, and I use them so that I can just pull the hose pipes around. The hose pipes caught like that for quite often, and they'd otherwise pull onto the bed uh, and damage the plants. Uh, so they're really useful, and all, every corner of the uh, beds have already got these pins on them. And I'm also going to use them, and probably this will be the same pins will get used for this purpose um, to stop the potatoes falling into the paths. Now. Nigel from the Muddy Boots channel, he showed me how to do this uh, on his channel. Uh, I think it's a really good idea. You basically get um, these pins and you just thread them through um, a kind of barrier fencing. Um, and, you know, especially the sarpomeras, which grow really big and floppy. Uh, and most of this bed is sarpomera. Um, it currently looks like brassicas, but these brassicas are, um, are going to come out soon. And the sarpomere are already in the ground. Um, yeah, so they will come up and they will flop all over this path. <coughs> and so the, um, that netting will stop that um, happening as well. So, that is it. So I'll just talk about costs. I think I'll put the actual costs uh, as an overlay on the video, but I think the pins were £29, which I think is a real bargain, given that they're basically indestructible and will last for the, uh, well, they'll last me, won't they? Um, and the, the 
canes I oh, had all these canes uh, so they didn't cost anything um, the caps aren't very much I think they're about seven pounds or something like that for enough to do this job um, and the net I think was about 40 pounds so maybe 70 pounds for the whole thing which for a brassica frame this size I think it's pretty good going, uh, particularly given that uh, it's got multiple uses later on in the season. So with that, I think, oh, I should just mention that I've got two other Brassica frames to build. Um, I'm going to build them exactly the same way as this, but I'm going to cover them with scaffold netting. Um, scaffold netting is a bit too small um, for this bed, but it's plenty big enough for uh, the smaller beds that I've got. And I've got some scaffold net in there, ready to go. So with that, I uh, will see you soon.